In this present era, independent filmmaking has provided numerous opportunities for upcoming filmmakers to demonstrate their creativity. Anyone can start working on their ideas with limited resources and a decent camera. However, cinema cameras come with a high price tag, causing concerns for many filmmakers. In today's video, we're gonna suggest you the 7 cheapest cinema cameras that you can buy and start your journey as a filmmaker right now. Take your content to the next level without breaking the bank with the Sony FX30. Sure, it might not come with a full frame sensor like its FX3 cousin, but don't let that fool you. The FX30 is all about the details. It may seem like your average mirrorless camera, but this is indeed a video first machine. It has an impressive 26 megapixel sensor that rivals more expensive cinema cameras, capturing 10 bit 4K footage at a buttery smooth 120 FPS cropped. And don't even get started on the picture profiles. S Log3, S Cinetone, HLG, the FX30 has it all, plus the ability to upload your own LUTs for personalized footage previews while you shoot. It also comes packed with features to make your life easier on set, like a fully articulating LCD, 5 axis in body image stabilization, and a dedicated zoom dialer. And thanks to its built in fan, you can record uninterrupted video without worrying about the camera overheating. Plus, with a dual base ISO and a full size HDMI outputting 16 bit raw video, your post production possibilities are endless. While the Panasonic Lumix DCGH5S is a great option for those looking for a camera with impressive low light performance, it does come with a higher price tag than its brother, the GH5, costing an extra $500. And, the GH5S has a sensor with half the pixels and lacks sensor stabilization. Despite having fewer pixels, the GH5S's 10.28 megapixel multi-aspect ratio MOS sensor creates larger pixels resulting in higher sensitivity and better low-light performance. Furthermore, the camera utilizes dual native ISO, a technology previously only available in Varicam cameras to enhance its low-light capabilities even further. The GH5S can shoot up to 60fps in DCI 4K and it can capture internal 4x2x2 10-bit footage just like its sibling the GH5. It also comes equipped with Vlog L and can shoot hybrid log gamma. The camera uses dual UHS 2 SD cost slots and features a fully articulating touchscreen. Though the GH5S may be pricier than the GH5, it offers exceptional low-light performance, making it an attractive option for those who prioritize that feature in their camera. Next up on the list is the Fujifilm X-T4, which boasts an impressive set of features including a 26.1 MP APS-C CMOS sensor that can capture up to 10-bit with a 4x2x0 color space internally at a bit rate of up to 400 Mbps. It offers DCI 4K at 60fps and can shoot up to 240fps in HD. While it shares many features with the previous model, the X-T3, it has a deeper grip and in-body image stabilization. Fujifilm is renowned for its film simulations and the X-T4 offers the popular Eterna simulation along with F-Log for dynamic range. Although its low-light performance could be better, the X-T4 is an exceptional camera with beautiful image quality and functional features. The APS-C sensor allows for more affordable high-quality lenses than those required by full-frame cameras. While its price is higher than that of its APS-C sensor competitors, it's still a reasonable price for its capabilities, making the Fujifilm X-T4 a versatile camera that meets a wide range of needs. The A6600 offers a lot of value and features from an APS-C camera with similar capabilities to the more expensive A7 line. However, one may wonder if Sony will release a better camera like this one ever. The A6600 shares many features with other Sony camera models such as S-Log2 and S-Log3 and up to 120fps in HD and 30fps in UHD 4K. The camera has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C Exmor CMOS sensor with a 1.5x crop factor and a Beyond's X processor along with 425 autofocus points. While these features are also present in the A6100, the A6600's added value depends on the user's needs. 
the A6600 is the first A6000 camera that offers significant upgrades for video shooting with no record limit, long battery life, excellent dynamic range, and both mic and headphone jacks. While it may not be the most affordable option for an APS-C mirrorless camera, its extensive list of features makes it a good investment for those looking for a high-quality camera. Currently, it's the best deal available. Well, if you're into DSLR, the next one's for you. The Nikon D500 is a DX format camera with a 20 megapixel APS-C sensor with a crop factor of around 1.5x compared to full-frame sensors. Despite Nikon's typical categorization of DX cameras as lower end due to their smaller sensors, the D500 is the most advanced DX DSLR camera ever produced by Nikon. It features a 10 FPS shooting speed, dual memory card slots, and an extensive buffer that enables you to capture up to 200 images in a single burst before the camera slows down. It also has the same autofocus system as Nikon's flagship D5 camera. Despite having features typically found in professional-grade cameras, the Nikon D500 is classified as an enthusiast camera, putting it in the same category as the D7200. The camera is ideal for those looking for an affordable alternative to a full-frame DSLR or wanting to take advantage of the crop sensor's format focal length benefits. Although it may be the top choice for videographers, it excels in still photography too with quick burst shooting, nimble autofocus, exceptional image quality, and long battery life. Next, we have the Sony A6400, a camera that has a lot of attractive features for photographers and videographers alike. One of the standard features of this camera is its long battery life, which is an improvement over the previous version. It also boasts a new autofocus system that Sony calls Real-Time Tracking AF, which makes it easier to get sharp images and videos of moving subjects. Additionally, the A6400 allows for internal time-lapse capture and has no record time limit, making it a versatile option for creators. This camera uses a 24.2 megapixel APS-C size CMOS sensor and can shoot up to UHD 4K at 30fps. And these all can be recorded via a single con slots. Its E-mount allows for the use of both full-frame lenses and those for the APS-C format. The Sony A6400 is a good value for its price and produces high-quality images. It's important to keep in mind that no camera can do everything, but the A6400 has a lot of features that make it a great option for many filmmakers. And lastly, we have the Canon EOS M50, which offers recording UHD 4K at 24fps. Despite having an APS-C sensor, it has a significant 2.56x crop when shooting in 4K and suffers from rolling shutter effects, but that does not compromise the quality if you know how to handle it. The features include a 24.1 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, a Digic 8 image processor, a 2.36M dot OLED electronic viewfinder, and a 3-inch vary angle touchscreen. The M50 uses an EFM lens mount requiring a $200 lens adapter to use any EF or EFS lenses, and it offers a microphone input but lacks a headphone jack. However, it can still be a suitable option for those who require periodic 4K shooting or want to capture their creativity on screen. And M50's flip-out screen makes it a strong contender for those who need it for vlogging or documentaries. If this feature is important to you, it's unlikely that you would consider any other camera in this budget. So, this was the list of the 7 best cheapest film cameras. Do you agree with our list? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below.